Hey guys, welcome to part three of this laundry room remodel. As you can see behind me, a little bit has changed since the last video. So I'm gonna quickly walk through all of those things right here after the intro. Stick around. All right, so as we left it before, that wall where the window was is completely covered with drywall and ready for mud. Although I'm going to wait because this wall here will be covered in drywall as well. I've gone ahead and studded out this wall for the framing that's going to house the plumbing. Some electrical as you can see I've got a box mounted. And um, all of that I did off camera because this was really kind of kind of intricate and different. So now that the wall is completely studded out um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the plumbing and the electrical. And like I said before, I'm not going to really cover that in this video because every house is going to be different. And I'm not a professional at it, so I don't want to steer you in a different, different direction that maybe for your house wouldn't work, whereas in mine it does. And so I'm going to go ahead, jump ahead, get that done, and then I'll catch back with you right after doing that. Okay, so everything in the wall is done. The plumbing is done. The electrical is done. So what's next now is to just cover it up with drywall. I did have to extend the dryer vent as well. Um, still have to do some changeovers down below, but that'll come at a later date. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of drywall. I'm actually going to draw, put the drywall in this direction versus up and down, because this is exactly four feet tall, and then the wall is exactly eight feet wide, so it's perfect for a four by eight sheet here, and then one going the lengthwise here as well. So what we're going to do is cover this, cover that, and cover this all with drywall. So I'm no pro at doing drywall. I've gotten better through the years, but I'm still not a pro. I want to recommend you to go and visit a channel called Vancouver Carpenter. On his channel, he talks all about drywall. He gives you a lot of good tips, a lot of good tricks, shows you techniques, shows you how to do it, and how to do it effectively and efficiently. So there's going to be some links in the description of this video to his channel. His name is Ben. He's a really cool guy, um, really good down-to-earth kind of guy on his channel. Okay, so we've decided to actually do away with this little box and what I'm going to do is trim this so it's flush and then frame this off for drywall. I've also got another place where I've added a light above the staircase. i got to frame that in as well. Hi. Hi.
So for this one wall, we wanted to put actually B-board to just as an accent wall, just to give it a little bit of a different look on this wall. Alright guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Um, basically all I'm going to do now is do some drywall work and also patch some little nail holes on the uh, b-board that we just put on the other wall. But a lot of that stuff I'm not going to cover. Um, I'm no pro at doing drywall. I've gotten better through the years, but I'm still not a pro. Basically that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be continuing to tackle more of this project. And I think the next part is going to be building these cabinets and kind of get this thing rolling. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time right here in the laundry room.